Right, I'm in the magical wood, long wood. I've used the camera up already, the good one, because I did quite a few photos and videos on route here because I did a different route. So this one isn't too bad. You've got to try and keep it dead still. I've already videoed all that there. What you have to do with this one is keep an eye on on the um, the light flashing and then press it. It goes off. I turned that off. I thought I turned it off that um, facility where it goes off after two minutes or something. I think, I, I think press again. Yes, I don't know how long. That's, obviously, that's not working properly. I turned the timer off not long ago. That only lasted about a minute. Yeah, I came down there. I don't know whether it continue. If it goes off and I press the button, but you've got to remember to keep an eye on that. But I thought I turned the timer off. I can't be bothered to fiddle with it now. But of course, I did video with um, the mobile, but it came out really bad. I haven't got... I'm not going to do the part of Velvet Bottom I intended to because because the battery's dead on the good camera. So what I'll have to do, that'll be a separate visit again to do that. That's a separate visit. Might even have to drive out. Right, here's number five, look. I've been all up there earlier and um, yeah, I stood up there, it was like a pinnacle on the top. But it is magical, this place. I'm trying to hold the camera as still as I can. On the top, it's really, really magnificent. The uh, bluebells and the wild garlic has come out much more than down here. It's still in its infancy because of the light I spat down here. It's coming. If you look up, the further up you go, the bluer it gets. I say, I, I could so I've done the top bit on the good camera and I've videoed other stuff. I was supposed to have kept the camera just for here. But um, I do need another battery. It's a pity this camera isn't that good. Yeah, I keep this one for what's called posterity. I thought I sorted it. Must have um, reverted back to default. It shouldn't have the date on it either. I, I changed all that the other day. The date shouldn't keep flashing up on here. You can see where the stream normally goes when it's... when there's a lot of rain. Yeah, it's truly magnificent, this wood. Really, really is. I've got no idea if this is going to turn out. There's lots of little valleys as well that you can explore. I've been so bumped into a few people. Yeah, I can see some people further up still. If they're the same people, I'm not sure. Oh, I think they might be. They're slightly ahead of me. Oh, they're at the pole. I'll have to stop doing the video in a minute because there's people ahead of me.
This is Longwood everyone. Done on the wibbly wobbly camera. But it's still working at the moment. Just doing a little bit more on this camera. I've just been speaking to the potholers. Apparently the once you get down about 25 feet, there's, you can actually walk in like tunnels and caves and things like that under the ground here. They're just setting off an explosive to widen, a, widen it a bit so you can get through a gap down there. But they're so brave, they've got bike boiler suits on and willies. They're not all small either. Oh, just look at the beauty here everyone. Absolute beauty of this place. I've decided uh, I'm going to go up the other side of the gorge and go back that way. There's plenty of time. Right over. In 